Hi, I'm Bobby from Leaf Education. Welcome to number three in our series of art activities inspired by farming and the countryside. This week we're going to be working with hay. In the spring and summertime, the grasses and wildflowers in the hay meadow grow. So by July, the grass is ready for mowing, drying, baling, and storing away to feed the animals in the winter time. Uh, to get hay for these projects that we're gonna to do today, you can go to an agricultural feed merchants and some of the bigger pet stores will also sell hay. So what I've got here is some lovely meadow hay and we're gonna use this to make hay hats. You need to stretch your hay out into a sort of line about enough to go round your head. Then you need to twist your hay into a nice rope. Now when you've done that, bend it round, keep twisting it all the time, into a circle. Now obviously there's no strength in that, so we need to strengthen it up a little bit by using some wool. I've put this wool onto little cards just to make it easier to handle because what we're going to do is bandage all the way around our hay hat. Once you've got your hay ring looking like this then it's time to start decorating. Younger students might need a hand to get to this stage, but it's very good for fine motor skills. Um, you can use whatever flowers you've got, but they just need to have a stem that's strong enough to thread underneath the wool and poke into the hay. And just like before, keep going until you've decorated your whole hat. So keep adding your flowers until you're happy with the design, just poking them under the wool there. Then you can put your hay hat on. You might want to make seasonal hay hats. Here's a Christmas one made with pine cones and ivy and holly. Of course it's also a Christmas wreath for your door if you wanted to hang it up. In the springtime you can make um, bird's nest rings. So this little hay ring has got all of the ingredients for a bird to make a lovely nest. If you're making um, bird's nest rings make sure you only use natural materials. You hang that up in your garden and you can watch little birds come and pull out the bits to make their nest. And here's a nest from my garden. It's got sheep's wool, horse's hair, some little feathers and some moss in it. Um, an extension to this activity using the same technique is to make little birds. So you again start by making a twisted rope of hay. You fold your rope round a short length of stick and that makes your bird's face. So you've got an eye on that side and an eye on that side and then exactly the same you just bandage it round. So you bandage his face up first and then you roll the rope of hay into a little ball to make your bird's body and carry on bandaging. When your bird's all bandaged up like that, his body's nice and firm, you can start to add the other bits and pieces. So thread a pipe cleaner through for a beak. Uh, you might need to just poke some holes in it or even right through to make holes for wings. Poke them in, maybe pop a bit of PVA on that if you want to. 
and the same for the tail and oops I like to just add a little dot on the eye to bring it alive and there's your little bird you can use the same technique to make bigger creatures squirrels rabbits that sort of thing and the birds will come out big ones small ones fat ones thin ones however you like that's all for this week um, don't forget to wash hands after handling natural materials next week we're going to be taking our inspiration from wildflowers in hay meadows or grass margins around arable fields thanks for watching